Hello and welcome to the sixth review in the book title of Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And I'm still Ginge. As always, you'll get my impression first and then had the game reviewed by Gameplay Story Graphics and Audio. The same shit we do every week. This game this week requires no intro, but for the sake of it, it is the classic arcade game Space Invaders. Space Invaders was designed by Tomihiro Nishikada, manufactured and sold by Taito in Japan, and was released in 1978. It later came to the US in 1980 via Midway. Before we continue, I am going to be biased throughout the review. I already think this is an excellent game, but just to show how good it is, there's a shortage of 100 yen coins due to this game, and it had grossed $2 billion worldwide by 1982. So let's look at the game. Everyone knows Space Invaders though, there's not much to say. The aliens move back and forth and drop down a line each time they touch the right or left side, and the more you destroy, the quicker they become. A mothership figure flies over every so often and gives you extra points if you shoot it. And you have wards to protect yourself somewhat, but can be shot through. And that's all I can say really. Sorry, this view is shit comedy value wise, so I apologise in advance for this. The only fault I can find in this arcade game is that the mothership sometimes only appears when you die, thus making it so you can't get it. One of video games very first trolls. And that's it. Uh, review part, I guess? The gameplay. It's pretty darn incredible. Space Invaders is such a simple concept and it works so well. It's basically flawless and even if you do find a fault, which I couldn't, it is a only minor. The story! <laughs> we'll move away from the 10 out of 10, but it is pretty freaking awesome. Originally it was going to be humans being shot at, but obviously this was changed. The graphics. Freaking awesome. You can't see it in the video here, but back in the arcade they didn't have colour screens, so they used to use gels under the glass so it gave the impression of colour, which again is so creative. The audio. Again awesome. Such simple sound effects and I say the Jaws movie inspired the music, as when the aliens start speeding up, so does the music. It gives you that sense of urgency to get the last remaining invader. To conclude, if you haven't played it, which is highly unlikely, pause this video now and go play it. I'll still be here but try and beat my highest score. Anyway, that is all. Keep your eyes cold. Ginge out. Hello there, Ginge here again. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, like, favorite content and all that good nonsense, it does help me out. If you look to your left, you'll see the last review I did, which was combat. And to the right, the next review I'll be doing, which is adventure. Woo! Exciting. That's the first RPG on our list, if I remember correctly. As always, I'll leave you with some music to craft on. Ginge out. Mm, do that again.